What up, what up? What's the B word, man? I'm Anthony Addison with another segment of What's the B word? Like and subscribe to the page. Hit me up on Instagram, What's the B word 52? Just like you see on YouTube. Hit me up on Facebook, What's the B word? And hit me up on Twitter, B word 52. And y'all already know what's going on with me, baby. Baltimore Raven fan, Raven Nation stand up. Flock, let's get it. And if you're not a Raven fan, you might be a fan of whoever. You might be a fan of the Steelers. You might be a fan of the Patriots. You might be a fan of the Cleveland Browns. Hit that like button in the way. Hit that subscribe button in the way because we talk football, period, baby. But reason why we're here today is to talk about the game we just watched. And the game we just watched, our Baltimore Ravens won 38-6 to in the season opener. And um, I'm happy. I'm happy, man. We came out there and dominated. But um, we're going to start off with the offense and stuff like that. Shockingly, this game right here, the offense, as far as running the ball, we wasn't just punching them in the mouth and dominating in the run game like did this game right here. Mark Ingram only had 10 carries for 29 yards. J.K. Dobbins had 7 carries for 22 yards, but he had two tubs. Gus Elvis had four, um, four, yards for se- I mean, four carries for 17 yards. L.J. had 7 carries for 45 yards. But on the flip side, the running back, the guy that they call the running back, Lamar Jackson, was very efficient this game. That's 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 what I got out of this game. Lamar was very efficient. He was twenty for twenty five for two hundred seventy five yards and three TDs. Um, he made he made a lot of good passes. Um, he let a few slip. Um, one of them he slipped ended up being a touchdown because it was a little high. But Mark Andrews was able to adjust and get it done. Um, uh, one thing I didn't like about the offense from what I seen was. Um, Lamar took a couple of shots that I, to me, honestly, I think that Lamar shouldn't have took. He needs to, um, to slide more and get out of bounds more. Some of those shots was very, very unnecessary. And I don't like that. I don't want Lamar and Holmes wearing weight and stuff like that. But, um, in other words, um, Hollywood Brown had a sneaky, he had a sneaky good game, man. And, um, Lamar, um, Hollywood Brown had five, five catches for 101 yards. And he was, he doing what we, we expect Hollywood to do. Um, I believe his big, big game, I'm talking about where he's going to score a lot of touchdowns. It's coming soon. It's coming soon, but still, he got the job done. He did a good job today. Hollywood Brown looked very good today, man. Every every every, every ball thrown his way, he pretty much caught. Um, He looked good coming out of his breaks. He looked good on his routes. He just looked good, period. Willis Sneed had four catches for 64 yards and a touchdown. Mark Andrews had five catches for 58 yards and two touchdowns. Miles Borkin made a couple of good plays. And one play that I just just really stood out to me that I, I don't, like, you don't see the Ravens running a lot. We ran a wide receiver screen. I couldn't believe it because, you know, we don't run that like that in Baltimore. But we ran a wide receiver screen to Devin Duvernay, and he got 13 yards. He, he got almost, like, 13 yards on that catch. Um, got a first down, man. So it's going to be, like, this playbook, just wait, like, halfway through the season, this offensive playbook going to really, really be opened up, man, because we got some real weapons. We got some real weapons. Just wait on it. Duvernay is going to um, show out. Proche is going to get his time. Sneed's going to keep doing what Sneed's doing. Andrew's going to keep doing what he's doing. And Hollywood's going to keep improving, man. Um, one bad one bad thing that happened with our offense, um, if you didn't know, Ronnie Stanley got hurt with an ankle injury, and he did not return that game. Um, and our, our pass block was kind of rough without him, but we still made it happen, and we still got the job done. Um, so shout-out to the offense to a good game, man. Honestly and truthfully, if it wasn't for the Pat Ricard fumble and if it wasn't for a couple of other things, man, we probably would have scored more points than this. Um, my favorite drive of the game was where we pretty much went from like 96 yards. We went like on a 96-yard drive. Cleveland defense really couldn't do anything with our offense, honestly, if you watched that game. They couldn't really do nothing, man. It was like pick your poison. If you're going to send eight in the box and you want to stop our run and just bait on, just, just trust on Lamar not being able to win with his arm, oh, well. And then when we went out there, then you didn't you didn't believe that Lamar would win with his arm, so we went out there and Lamar threw it and, and we won with his arm. So that's an alarm and wake up to the NFL about this whole Lamar can't throw thing. There's people still after he after he led the NFL to touchdowns and all that. There's still people saying stuff like that. Well, guess what? Week one, Lamar went out there and won it with his arm, just like he did week one of last year. So now let's talk about this defense, man. Defense start, started off a little rocky to me, even though they had three and outs. I mean, they got an interception. Marlo got an interception, um, and, and, and we got a few three and outs, and then we got a fumble on a um, on a fake punt and stuff like that. Defense still started off a little rocky as far as the problem that we had last year. The problem that we had last year was still is still looking like it's carry on in this year, but um, we did better in the second half. 
but we was having a lot of problems with the run in the first half. It was the the touchdown drive, the one touchdown drive that the Cleveland Browns had. They ran the ball the whole drive, man. They punched it right down our throat, and we was getting used and abused. But um, happy to see that, like a quarter later, we made the adjustments and we kind of we kind of tamed that running game a lot. Baker Mayfield really didn't do much against us. He had um, he went twenty for thirty eight for one eighty eight. Had a touchdown, touchdown and an interception, and he just really didn't do that much against us. Um, our pass rush still don't look top like it's it's still not there yet. Our pass rush really not there yet. Um, for a lot of times Baker Mayfield was sitting in the pocket just sitting there chilling. Um, but due to the fact that we have such a strong secondary, such a good secondary, uh, secondary that can cover people for a long time, Baker Mayfield really didn't have nowhere to go. And for us, for our secondary to be able to hold the type of receivers that Cleveland has. The tight ends that uh, Cleveland have, um, Odell Beckham and Jarvis Landry and them guys like that, for, us to, for, our, for our secondary to be able to hold those guys that long, that should let you know how good our secondary is and how great we can be, we we we, we can become. Um, because this is just week one, no OTAs, only training camp, no preseason game, no game snaps and stuff like that, and they came out prepared like this, man. So it can only get greater later. The more reps we get, the better we can get. Um, Joker, man, shout out to Joker, man. I seen Joker out there making a couple of hits. That boy put a lick on Kareem Hunt on one of them plays, man. Joker flying around, and he looking real comfortable back there with us. Um, we had one slip up on that touchdown drive when we gave up to Cleveland with LJ Fort missed his assignment, let the tight end creep behind him and got wide open for a touchdown. I'm sure that's stuff that we're going to be able to fix and all that. Patrick McQueen had a couple of times where he kind of looked the question was like on that drive, that touchdown drive where he, I really didn't see him none that drive. Um, and we were just getting whooped up front. For the most part, he had a decent game. He forced a fumble. He got a sack. Um, like I said, man, when these guys get more and more game reps, it's gonna be it's gonna get better and better. You know, as far as the offense, we we, we really didn't have like right. We got some new faces, but we still got the main people there. But on defense, we got like some new faces and some main positions. Like Patrick Queen is playing middle linebacker. You know what I'm saying? We got you know Calais Campbell and we got Harrison and them. They playing line. It's just going to take a little time. They're going to get better later. They're going to get better later. About week five or six of this season, y'all going to be like, man, them guys are some ballers. But um, shout out to the defense too, man. We really like it. It, it, it was um, it was just a good game, man. It was a good way to open up week one. Um, It looked like we're serious business. Uh, my favorite thing about the whole game was the um, the drive we scored a touchdown right before halftime, showing everybody that we had that type of offense that we can go down the field real fast and score. That was one of my favorite things I took from the game. Um, what I would want to see next week, especially since we're playing against a weaker O-line next week, um, I want to see our defensive line play better. I want our, our pass rush to play better and stuff like that. Um, but that's all I got pretty much from this game, man. Offense played good, defense played good, special teams played good, man. We just had a good opening week. We carrying on from last year on to this year, man. And we gotta keep building and keep building and keep building. Um, and I think, man, hey, if we if we keep building and keep being better, we got a strong chance to win the Super Bowl. But anyway, man, that's all I gotta say about this game, man. Our Baltimore Ravens won week one. I'm happy. I'm excited for what this season um will look like, and um hopefully. We'll, we'll end the season holding it, um, the Labar. So, Flock, I love y'all. Subscribers, I love y'all. All my new subscribers, everybody, drop some in the comments. Tell me what y'all seen in the game. How do y'all feel about what was going on at the game and stuff like that. And um, I'll see y'all next time.